Thank you so much for having me. My name is George Ngeti. I work for Ampath Plus in Trukana County. I coordinate prevention activities, precisely PrEP, gender-based violence, key populations, and priority populations. Uh, we are here, actually, um, en route Lodua. We've just come from Lokichogyo, where we were doing a uh, PrEP uh, training for the peer educators, both for female sex workers and for men who have sex with men. Now, um, as we were on our way, actually, to Lodua, we got caught up. Uh, by the Laga seasonal river that actually got full at Kalobeye and as you can see uh, we here at Natir in some village uh, Just behind me some homestead where we've opted to at least just uh, have a small brief probably get a cup of tea as they prepare and See how we can proceed with our journey. So this is where we are and we at least just to give a small brief about um, What you've been doing at uh, Loki Chogyo. Well, uh, we have had a uh, Day training in Loki Chogyo precisely for our peer educators for the key populations program that's the female sex workers peer educators and uh, MSM peer educators. So we thought it was to have a capacity building uh, for the peer educators, which is a two days activity trained by train of trainers. These are trainers who are trained by NASCOP who are competent and certified to offer the training. And the essence of this was uh, within Trukana County, we've been implementing our prep program. And within the pro program, uh, we have got different dynamics and different players that have been able to help us to achieve um, our PrEP uh, targets. But as you can see, uh, probably just to give you a brief about our PrEP targets, um, we, we barely halfway through our performance as a program at 50% of the PrEP car and um, uh, 46 of uh, PrEP new. So this uh, brought about the at least need, imminent need of having a PrEP training of the peer educators and this basically to create awareness to make sure that they are able to have the rightful knowledge, they are equipped with the rightful knowledge on how to disseminate the information, how to create demand within the peers because these are persons who are at high risk of acquisition of HIV virus. So besides that also um, we have other uh, issues that we were able to articulate during the training just to see to it that as they go home the myths and misconceptions that might have actually been misconstrued bringing about a low uptake of PrEP can equally be worked around. So besides the awareness creation and working on the myths and misconception issues we also wanted just to understand the challenges that these people could be having in PrEP uptake and most of the things they brought out are actually issues due to the myths and misconceptions as I had mentioned issues around stigma and discrimination among them and this precisely when someone takes PrEP the notion is that they are actually HIV positive and so for that reason they may not want to take the PrEP. The other thing is low perceived risk which has been a big impediment they would say that by the virtue of them being key populations they know that yes they are sex workers, yes they are men who have sex with men and for that reason they use other prevention measures like use of condoms. So we actually had to at least work around, navigate through and make them understand that yes condoms are helpful yes but at times you may have condom busts and other issues so it is important to have a biomedical prevention in the name of PrEP that is able to help them. So we worked around that discussed through that and good enough we actually had a PrEP ambassador among the team who equally had her PrEPs and was able to show us and walk us through the journey on how she's been taking PrEP and very many by the time we were finishing the training actually came up and said hey can we have these drugs as immediate as now. Good enough we had the drugs with us we encouraged them to get in touch with the clinicians at the drop-in centers where they attacked that from AIC Lokichogyo all the way to Kakma, Lokichar in Lodua and Kalokol and Longage and we expect that in the new financial we are going to have a surge in the number of clients who are going to come up and take prep. Thank you so much.